Good morning, good afternoon, good evening guys, wherever you are in this beautiful world, whenever you're watching this YouTube video, welcome to the Bitcoin Family YouTube channel for the newcomers. My name is Didi Tahutu and I'm always drinking a coffee between two palm trees with the view of the beautiful sea here in the Caribbean at least the last couple of months. Hmm. Yes guys, I'm not freaking out. No. I'm zooming out. I'm going to help you today to not freak out and zoom out a little bit. But yes, first I'm going to look at the short term in Bitcoin. What is going to happen next? Then to the mid term and then to the long term, guys. Please watch this complete video. And if you like it already now, give it a thumbs up. From this moment on, let's jump into the charts very quickly. Bam. We will start with the 4-hour chart, guys. Like you can see, on the 4-hour chart, I drew this green box. I said that is the area of support. We broke that. We broke that. We broke that and all the way down almost to this green line. And that green line was the second area of support. And that is around 41 to 42,000 US dollar. Sorry. Why? If you look to the left, you can see that was resistance, it was resistance, and then we broke it, you know. And then you break the resistance, sometimes you come back to test that support area. And that support area is around 41. We went there and we bounced up. So we have now seen two four-hour green candles. This is now very exciting because we have seen this before here. There, we saw us going down. Two green candles and bam we went down more now we going up two green candles are we going to go inside of this box again test that line or are we going to fall back to this one again and make a double bottom many things possible we can't predict the future we can only analyze what is happening and do our trades on base of that i'm not going to talk too much to you the bfat and the tiktok indicator that will help you with this if you want any information on that, click on the links down below the video to the Discord server and you can see how that can help you. Um, let's jump into the, this is the 4 hour chart. So this is short term. Yes, I think this was kind of a bottom coming up and let's see how this will evolve. Um, I hope we will close the candle very soon above this red line. That is for me the goal. The red line will come down a little bit and then we need to close above that one. Go up and come back to the red line. Find support again like we did uh, before and then we can move up again but for now short term looks really bearish i need to be very honest let's look at the weekly chart bam this is the weekly chart Ooh, what did we see we broke out of that channel and to my regrets and i deeply regret this but because i was too busy with filming documentaries and all that stuff again my life is upside down i forgot to look at the NVT the last couple of weeks and what do we see on the NVT we saw here the red turned white in the bottom guys and I've been saying this and telling this many months and when the shit hits the fan I forgot to look at it because I told you when red turns white on the weekly chart that is the moment to sell the moment that happened was over here the 3rd of May. That moment we closed and red became white. We should have sold over there around 54,000 US dollar. Yes, then we would have been freaking out because it went up to 58, 9, 60 almost again. But you can see that the NVT has been correct all of the time. And yes, a lot of you will maybe say now to me, but Didi, if you look back, and I'm going to look back so you can see it, um, to the 2017 bull run, because during the 2017 bull run, uh, I don't have internet, sorry guys, but during the 2017 bull run, we were white all the time. And sometimes we are white during a bull run, but that is not what counts. White is okay. The thing that counts in the NVT is that it changes from red to white. It did change, and after that it changed, we saw a drop of, let's say, let's take it from here, we saw the drop already of 20%. So, 
the beautiful thing on the weekly chart guys is that we can see um, that we find support on this logarithmic growth curve on the midline the yellow line is a 21 EMA this weekly candle still needs to close it will take six days before this candle closes if we close above the 21 EMA that is a very good sign this Sunday Sunday 12 o'clock UTC we need to close this red candle above this yellow line if we close above this yellow line I feel very safe I feel we are still in this huge bull run because always when we close above this yellow line the 21 EMA I feel safe during a bull run the moment we close this candle next Sunday down below this yellow line I feel that we could fall a little bit further maybe to the next level of support which is even 35,000 US dollar but let's not freak out let's zoom out we have six more days to enjoy life to the fullest to see what will happen with this candle let's see let's zoom in maybe a little bit more I can show you because maybe I can show you on the BLX I hope the internet yeah it's already loaded because this chart is loaded very often on the BLX you can see that we during a bull run all those yellow circles that was the support of the 21 EMA so every time on this red circle we touched the 21 EMA but we went up again the moment we broke it like here that is on this moment over there 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 we broke it that was the start of the bear season and you can see we went down so we had support over here now there we had support now nah, here it didn't even go down but now again we are finding support on the blx which is always a little bit later than all the other car charts because it's loading a lot of data we didn't close down below the yellow stepping line then. so that's for me very 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 safe as long we stay above it and we bounce we are completely safe let's zoom a little bit more out let's take to that was chinese or something let's take a look at this chart bam yeah we need to keep the humor in it humor in it the moves every bull run we have a consolidation phase consolidation phase means sideways and every bull run we do this this is 2013 every candle is a month this is a monthly chart in 2013 we did it for one two three four five six seven months we went sideways before we had that huge run so seven months we went sideways before we had that huge run 2017 we did let's draw one two three four five six months before we had that huge run now at the moment again guys we can see we already have one two three four maybe five months six months before we see the huge run so as long we keep moving inside this box nothing is happening in the big time frame in the negative way it's still positive and these boxes yes um, there is a very good video by crypto crew university steve i saw it on his video that's why i'm showing it you now because maybe some of you don't watch his videos the bottom of the box is always the previous all-time high this one 20k times 1.5 and it should be around 30k and the top of the box is always the previous all-time high times four which should be 80k so 30 to 80k is the safety box play <laughs> that, 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 i said that's really cool because that is the margin we can move and still not freak out because we can expect still this bull run to happen and why do we all still expect this bull run to happen by the way on the monthly chart you can see the red is still red we didn't turn white yet the, if we turn white on the monthly like we saw here that was the huge dump so if this one is going to turn right red bleep, white why did he then bearish but still i think we are going to go up guys let's check why bam wooble this is the bitcoin nvt price nvt price if we look at this green line this is the nvt price every time the blue line this is the line the bitcoin price so the market price dips down below that green line here there these are buying moments the moment you buy the moment you fear 
The moment you feel afraid, like, oh my god, I'm going to lose everything, my capital is going to disappear, I'm going to go bankrupt. That moment is the moment to buy. I know it's stupid, but look back in time. Every time, again and again, when you felt, shit, man, I need to sell now, everything is going down, we are going to go. Every time, if you would have bought in those moments, you would have gone up. Just be honest to yourself. Look to the previous times that you felt that fear and then think, shit, if I would have bought then, I would have gone up. That is what happens. Every time this NVT, that the price, the blue line, goes down below the green dotted line, is a buy moment. And you can see that we are seeing the same over here. Here we touched it, that was a buy moment. Here we went down below it, that was the best buy moment. That was when Bitcoin was 7K. You would have gone all the way up. Now again, this is a buy moment. We are going down below that green dotted line. Just in 2017, we saw it one, two, and before even more, three or four times. It is a buy moment. The moment the premium here goes down below this dotted line is a buy moment because you can see that we always go up from that moment. I will show you a little bit more clear on this chart. Bam. So we are back to Willy Who's chart. In this chart, guys, you can see that every time here we dip down below that line is a buy moment because after that we see this run. We dip down below the line is a buy moment because after that we see the run. We dip down below the line and we see that run. Oh no, that is not the run. <laughs> that is the run. You know, always, even here when we dip down below it, there, we saw this tiny bear trap run all the way to there. Here we went down below it. That was the buy moment for this run. Can you see what I'm saying? Here we are dipping down below it right now. This is the buy moment for this next run. That is what I see on these charts. And if you look at this chart like this, I think it's really clear. And if we jump to this chart, bam, in this chart, guys, you can see that the orange line is the current price line. The blue line in the middle, this one, that line is the average Bitcoin price after the halving. The orange line is the Bitcoin price after the third halving. The top line and the bottom line of this blue cloud, so this area, these are the tops of the runs after the previous halvings, the first and the second halving. So this is the range we could be moving in because the f after the first halving we went this to the top over here like this eh? and that's what you can see and uh, the second halving was to the top over there. So now this blue line is the average. If we would follow the average line we would go to 288k per Bitcoin, this area that you can see. If we would go and repeat the first run after the halving, we would end up all the way at around this level, 550k, which would be the market size of physical gold. This level over there is the plans B, stock to flow model target, 288k. And if we only reach like this area over here, which is also possible, October 2021 to January 22, that would be 115k per Bitcoin. And that's the market cap of Apple. This chart is showing you the top, the bottom, the average and where we are at the moment. We are here. We are still performing better than the 2017 run. We are underperforming the 2013 and 14 run. We are in between. The average line would be here and we are far away from the average that should be around 115k at the moment. But in my opinion, we are going to stay above it and we are going to go like this and this and this and this, something like that. And I think that is a very beautiful chart you need to all understand. Let's jump into these charts again. Bam! 
I have here one more chart that I want to share with you before I end this video and that is this one. This is really cool. I saw the tweet on Matt Bitcoin. I started to follow him because I really liked the tweet. We are exactly on track and still in a bull market halfway to be expected post halving. Calculated target still remains at 180,000 per Bitcoin in May 2022 he is saying. Zoom out, focus on the long term. This Bitcoin chart was created in 2018 and posted to the public in 2019. It's about this chart. And on this chart you can see that in 2018 when this one was posted, you can see what happened to the Bitcoin price. So we can see the 52 bars, the 264 days, we can see the 500 days over here, that is the bull run, and we can see that we now are um, 106 bars, 742 days. You can also see that the bear time is expected somewhere in 2022, but the top is also expected in 2022. According to his chart, it would be around 180,000 US dollar. And this is a really cool chart. So if you want to read more about this chart and the calculation, you should go to the tweet of him and check this because I really like the calculations behind it. He also tweeted the calculations. I will show you um, here. So you can see that the average gains diminished by prior peak divided by 2.2 to 2.3. The average post halving cycle increases by um, an ad by times 1.43. Average peak to bottom diminishes by um, times minus 4. So 2013, 2017, 2022, the predicted gain post halving 1884%, which would end up in 180,000 US dollar. Predicted days that it will take to that peak is 740 days. And that is all calculated on the previous runs. But I really like it. I like the calculation. So if this calculation would be ending up, then we would reach the top somewhere in 2022. Really cool. It could be um, around, what did we say? May, I think, or something, yeah, 2022. So that could be really, really cool, guys. Um, I hope you really enjoyed today's video. Bam. I hope you really enjoyed the charts. I hope you now understand not to freak out but to zoom out. Yes, I am losing a lot of capital as well because we crashed from 60 to almost 40k. That's 20k. Yes, do you see me freaking out? No, I'm just living life, making my things because I know it's a four year bull cycle. This is going to recover. We are on the, uh, halfway of that beautiful bull run. And yes, this is the moment that you need to have diamond hands strong hands huddle just huddle don't freak out if you need some bitcoin to live yes i understand take it you shouldn't have done that you should have played only with the money that you were prepared to live but if you did that take it and live a little bit don't sell everything because we are going to the top it is not a tweet of some kind of person that will crash the market if that was the case then that is even more beautiful because that means that the market is tiny that a tweet can crash the market and that means if the market is tiny there's a lot of growth possible on the long term as well all is fine in my opinion just learn to zoom out instead of freaking out thank you for watching this video if you did enjoy the video give the video a thumbs up share it with your friends and family subscribe to the channel hit the notification bell and please leave a comment what do you think about these charts and let me know if i can help you in any way to feel less stressed and zoom out into the market thanks for watching and hopefully enjoy the family video later today and another video tomorrow morning again about the charts and the ta yes this was a little bit less energy and a bit less funny, but I wanted to keep it serious so you could really understand what I was saying about the charts. Thanks for watching. See you tomorrow again. Bam! No.